Good evening, this is your Psychic LG reporting for the United Kingdom. Let's look into my looking glass and see what's going on um, for global events for the next month. I hope you're all keeping well and happy Halloween to everybody who does celebrate it. And for those who don't, I just want you to keep positive. Remember, everything's frequency, everything's energy. And yes, we are living in very trying times, but I do believe by not feeding into the fear, it doesn't feed that loose. So sit back and relax, and let's see what the crystal ball has to say tonight. I hope you're all keeping well. Okay, remember this is scrying. Okay, okay. Okay, well, I'm very aware what's going on in the USA, and I do feel things are gonna get very heated. I want you to watch around about the 8th to the 9th of November for possibly news to come out or maybe the 6th as well, the 6th of November up to the 9th, no later than the 10th. There's gonna be huge news in the USA. I keep getting a bridge, guys, and I don't know why. So possibly watch, the last time I said the bridge, there was that um, bridge in Crimea. I feel that there's something to come out there to do with a bridge, or around about that time there's news with another bridge. There's going to be also airports. There's going to be around about that time. There's going to be massive news to come out. I feel it's as if like we're in the eye of the storm. And I've been saying this for a very long time. I do believe that um, we are definitely in the great spiritual awakening. And it's about healing old wounds. That's what I feel what's happening at the moment. As everybody who follows me knows that I, um, I work with Archangel Michael. And... Um, I do believe that angels are walking this path at the minute, they're on earth, they're working through people. And what I'm getting tonight from Michael is, he's saying prepare for a storm in the USA. Now I don't mean that as a literal storm, I'm gonna look into weather tonight as well, but I'm, I'm seeing a political storm. So as the midterms approach, what I said the last time, I'm getting very 50-50. I'm not so sure if it's going to go the way that the Republicans think. Um, remember, I don't go on polls. I don't go on other, what other people say. I go on what I feel. There's like a break in the road. Now, that's interesting. So there could be where there's discrepancies. There's discrepancies and possibly that there's going... I'm getting GOP coming out here. So there possibly could be accusations of cheating or something like that. That doesn't mean it is cheating, but just possibly watch for that. Interesting. I'm also getting big news to do with around Trump, around about the 10th or the 11th. Now, <clears throat> I normally look on no more than two years. Um, so take that the way you will. But I'm looking for this for November. So possibly, if not December, no later than January. Okay. So what am I getting? I still feel that there's going to be changes in the Republican Party. And as we move on into 2024, um, I don't like looking on too far from there, but things don't seem the way people think it's going to be. I keep getting something out about a blonde haired woman that may stand in the White House, but that does not mean that it's president. It could be vice president. Um, there's a big twist with this. I'm going to give you some numbers here. I'm getting the 25th, the 26th, the 27th, and the 28th. There's more, there's more details to come out about documents. Questioning, there's a big question mark to do with are they going to want more? Are they going to want to search his property again there's something here but i'm also feeling searching another property as well not just to do with um donald trump so possibly watch for that now in my last world predictions i did say that uh, liz truss wouldn't be in long and i kept getting rishi sunnick and obviously that's happened um globally when things aren't very good at the moment and economy and everything so <clears throat> everything to do with high gas prices, electric prices, through the roof, interest rate. 
I'm feeling that there's more votes to come in the UK, so you need to watch for that. Questioning to do with the Tory party, I feel there's more scandals to come out, so possibly watch for that. I'm seeing President Biden making an announcement, so I don't know what that is, a big announcement. And I keep getting Chicago guys, and I don't know why, in Michigan. Now, <clears throat> I'm not so sure on Chicago um, to do with these midterms. I don't know if that's both ways or what. I'm not sure. Um, but I am getting a strange feeling about Philly as well. Is it Philadelphia? Pennsylvania is coming through really strong. Questions, big questions to do with Nevada in Arizona. So watch for that. I don't know why I'm getting the 27th. 27. I want you to remember that. Okay, what else am I saying? I feel that we are definitely going through a massive purge here and I feel that there's a lot changing. I've said this for a while where the the old sort of systems fall and the new systems building. There's like an arrow in the road pointing forward. I'm getting the ace of spades, which is very lucky. I've got E2I coming in here. He always gives us music prophecies. Maybe you need to listen to the lyrics to that. When he gives us messages like that, people who follow us on Twitch, they know what I mean. It's um, this, this messages within the lyrics. But I'm getting the Ace of Spades really, really strong. Really strong. Huge change coming in by Christmas. And I'm also getting the fourth and the third. The fourth and the third. I see accusations going back to the past. Very interesting. And it's to do with politics in America. Accusations to the past. I'm getting the letter J. Everything I'm telling you will fall into place. So I don't know if that's to do with a person's name or a place. Um, there's definitely more sort of um, searches coming from FBI or demands. And I'm saying something about court. That's coming in really strong. am I seeing? The UK is going to be in a lot of problems to do with the NHS and I do feel the NHS is going to change. Now again I normally look on no more than two years but I see it in a tier system. I want you to remember that. It's coming through really strong. Huge news to do with the celebrity in the UK. Possibly male could be female as well, but or they're asking a female or she's getting interviewed on the television about something. But there's huge news coming in with a male celebrity, so watch for that. I'm getting the green, green grass. Is that a song? The green, green grass. I'm getting Greenland, guys. I'm also feeling, I'm still feeling something about Hong Kong. People have asked us to look into Taiwan. I still feel she's protected. It's strange, you know, guys, because Putin, I mean, obviously there's been a lot of disturbing stuff what's been said, and this has been on Russian news. It's not just been on mainstream media. That is, you know, the threat to do with um, nuking the USA and the UK. But what I want to say is that he's going to try something. And it's something to do with energy, but it will backfire on him. When I say energy, it could be like cyber attack or something to do with power. But there's more news coming in with Ukraine, so you need to watch for that. 
Remember, I've been seeing this for a while. There's like three heads to this beast. Things aren't with the way they seem, and it's all about greed. Um, and I'm feeling it's as if that these sort of people don't fit the narrative for New Earth, right? They, they need to be gone, you know? They need to be gone. These tyrants, um, which are threatening to blow up countries and invade countries. Um, it's all about greed and it's all about power. But this is the case, and he did say this, and he scoffed about it. And there was a Russian reporter what said, if you do that, are you not bothered about the consequences back towards Russia? I mean, he just laughed. He's crazy. So what I want to say is, um, if you dispute what I say, you can check this out. Um, the world's gone mad, guys, and it's very, very divided. Very, very divided. And I don't believe for one minute that that man should be put on a pedestal. But what I do feel is that there is huge news coming out with him. There is massive news coming out with him very, very soon. But he's, it's like he's not going to go out without a bang, but it will be okay. I'm getting something about the metal industry. in finances, don't know what that is. And then I'm seeing um, Capitol Hill, Wall Street. Again, if this doesn't come off by the end of the year, you're looking into the early part of next, so watch for that as well. So yeah, so it, does, it just looks a little bit disruptive, the, these midterms, guys, you need to watch for that. Labour will rise again in Britain. We will go Labour Britain again. <clears throat> and I'm also being shown at some point there will be Scottish independence. I know that in one of my last world predictions just recently, I had said that watch for crazy weather in something about another volcano in Hawaii. And obviously that's just recently happened. But I feel, I don't know if it's another volcano or problems with another volcano. Round about the time, there's going to be some big news with the letter S. Again, I don't know if this is to do with a country or to do with a, a person's name. I know we've just recently had that stampede. What happened in that place beginning with the letter S? Is it Seoul? Um, but what I do feel is that um, Very strange how it's happened around about Halloween as well, isn't it, guys? Very, very strange. But I just feel that when it comes to gatherings and things like that, I do feel into the future that there's going to be new sort of plans put into place for concerts and gatherings where this can't happen. And again, it's about greed with people all coming in around and this sort of thing happening. It's all about money. It's all about greed. As you know, I did predict that um, I said Elon Musk would take tw uh, Twitter. Twitter's going to change massively. He's going to change it. It's going to be all across world news. I'm also feeling that there's somebody who was taken off Twitter who will go back on Twitter. So watch for that. That's coming through quite strong. And there's going to be quite a controversy about it. So watch for that. Okay. I don't know why I'm getting St. Christopher. I mean, obviously St. Christopher has to do with Santa Claus, isn't it? But I'm getting his energy coming in very, very strong. And it's as if he wants to say that he wants to give Christmas now. Now, I'm not saying anything's going to happen at Christmas or anything like that. But it's as if he wants to bless everybody, bless the children, bless the sick. And he, this was his... This was the real St. Christopher. He gave to the poor, he gave to the needy. And I feel his energy's unrested at the minute. Remember, we are creating new earth um, and everything went sort of twisted and became very materialistic, very Luciferian. And it's as if that he says that the spirit of Christmas is going to become more apparent this Christmas. So it makes me think, is there something going to happen 
to make people more aware, more aware, more giving. Really strange. But it's as if I'm looking, I'm looking at C and I see a huge hand, like God's hand going into the sea and lifting people, people who have been sinking. Why am I getting that? Comment on the link below if you used to know anything about that. But that's what they're showing us. Now, I know there's supposed to be voting coming off in Australia soon, isn't there? And I'm, people have asked us to look about Dan Andrews, but I'm very unsure with him at the moment, you know, guys. I'm very unsure. I mean, the other guy's got a good chance, but it is a guy, isn't it? seen a slimish guy with darkish hair and a guy with like mousy brown hair I don't know who the other competitors are this is Dan Andrews it's Melbourne isn't it massive changes I'm also looking into New Zealand and um, I also see a new a new leader into the future I see her stepping down so possibly watch for that but I'm not seeing it yet but I see big changes. I see her going off into a different direction. People have asked us to look into Trudeau. I don't see him going yet, guys. Remember, things aren't what they seem. Bigger changes to come in around Europe in the USA before Canada changes. And as I've said this before, in my past previous um, predictions, that into the future, the Canadian flag's gonna change. Remember that. I'm very drawn to France and I can't put my finger on why. It's like I wanna send healing and blessings out to Paris. Healing and blessings out to Paris. I'm seeing smoke, I'm seeing smoke. Somebody shouting in New York, New York. Three, three people within show business with huge shocks to come. Interesting. Something about a child as well, and I can't put my finger on what that is. Oh, there's my fridge going off, guys. Nearly getting it. Nearly getting my new fridge soon. Actually, give us two minutes. I'm going to go and switch it off because it it affects the audio. Give us two minutes. That's better. <sighs> there. Okay, what else am I getting? I see lots of flowers. And I don't know if this has got something to do with Russia or Ukraine. Lots of flowers. More trouble coming in from the Middle East, guys. And I don't know if this has got something to do with Iran. Israel, Iran. And I'm being shown that protective hand. What's that symbol with the protective hand? Like the, is it the Indian logo? Been shown that. I'm also being shown like Arabs, rich Arabs with like the headdress on. And something about signatures. Signing new contracts, which we haven't known, and then new contracts to come out to do with the UK. So that's interesting. So possibly watch for that. I'm also getting a huge news to, to come in around the letter E and the letter S. Could be the same person. Yeah. I feel Ron DeSantis will possibly get Florida. I'll be very surprised if he doesn't. 
See, basically, guys, I just think it's the same penny, two different sides. That's my philosophy on it. Yeah, so there's just all this drama, what's been happening, everything what's been going on with um, Nancy Pelosi's uh, husband and everything. Um, there's more news to come with that or there's something else. Um, but people have asked us, and I, and I looked into this last night on um, Twitch, and he definitely was attacked with a hammer which is horrible, okay? Um, but sometimes, how can I put this? Information what's put out could be slightly not the way it is, but it, it literally was attacked, which is not good. But as you know, there's been people twisting this and saying horrible things about it. But there's something else still, there's like a vulnerability there. And if it's not to do with Nancy Pelosi and Paul, Pelosi, isn't it? A husband, it's it's somebody else. I'm just seeing, a, I'm seeing problems. So possibly watch for that as well. It's fading out there. This was just a little quickie fires, guys. I'm still seeing the animals running in Africa, you know. And I'm still keep getting that song Africa by Toto. That's coming through really, really strong. So you see, you can't force something unless it's already there. And I've had this before where I see the tall boats race, which is in Australia. Round about that time, there's going to be huge news. And I don't know if that's the end of the year or the beginning of next. Comment on the link below if you know when the tall boat race is in Australia or in Oz. Yeah, so there is a lot of cold cases to come out. I'm going back to the USA again. I'm feeling there's a lot of cold cases and there will be a televised cold case, but I don't know. It's something to do with Trump or around Trump. But I mean, this hoo-ha, guys, is going to go on till next year. It really, really is. There is going to be problems with the midterms. I'm seeing it really strong. And I'm feeling there's going to be, round about that time, there's going to be huge news to do with a blonde-haired woman around about that time and more scandals to come out. So possibly watch for that as well. I'm sending healing and blessings to everybody around the world. We just have to hold the line. And as Michael says, oh, there's my tumble dryer going off now. I've been having one of them days. I've been cooking soup. I've been washing drying you name it all the machines have been on <clears throat> trying to catch up as michael says we just have to hold the line and not feed into the negativity because there is a bigger picture than what we know and it's it's coming out of 3d and i feel this is the time halloween to take back our power remember i even feel halloween was hijacked I put a little post out about that today on social media. Um, so anything to do with witchcraft, it's been twisted. So it's a tool, it's an art. Witchcraft's been around a lot longer before Christianity. But what they did was they made it all like sort of spooky and scary and they'd done a satanic things around about that time. But you can also do white stuff as well, white magic, good stuff. And now is the time to manifest, to practice the law of attraction. Don't feed into the fear. Visualize what you want. Um, maybe it's go and pick something from earth. Maybe it's a, an acorn or a stone or a wildflower. Bless it, bring it into the house, bless it, light a white candle, you know, anoint your candle. Um, you don't always have to use essential oils, you can use herbs from the kitchen. Um, this is one of the things I burnt last night on Twitch. I've got, still got the blinking thing stuck in it, look. But if you get cloves and you pop them in around 
and then put them around and burn it. It's, it gives off a lovely sort of like a Christmassy smell throughout your house. And cloves, fresh cloves are very protective. Um, don't feed into the fear, you know. If you get a negative thought in your head, go outside barefoot if you've got a backyard or in your garden, just do that. Or just outside and do that and say, please angels, if these aren't my energies, lift them off me. And nine times out of 10, it lifts off you. Remember, we are little radio transmitters and we haven't got to feed into the negativity. Hold on to your hat, guys. You're going to need your blinking popcorn for what's coming. And we have all been tested over the last couple of years. And it's a test of what's right, what's wrong, you know. Um, and I certainly won't be told what to think or what to do. I believe that the... Um, the so-called truth community got very, very entangled. And um, as you know, anybody who's been taught, like following us for all these last couple of years, I do channel the star races. The star races aren't really into politics, you know? So you've got to like, use your discernment here. You know, when people are channeling beans and they're saying that Trump, Trump's gonna be back in and um, because the Palladians say so, the Palladians and the, the you know the these extraterrestrial beings don't give two shits about politics because politics is part of the is part of the matrix. I'm just telling you the truth, guys. Yeah. So it's up to you, whoever you follow or whatever you do, but just be aware that um, the good beings out there they want peace on this planet they do not want divide they do not want divide and i'm going to leave that one with you it's very very important everybody's healing everybody's purging old wounds and um it's a bit like a zombie invasion at the minute of people's minds so we just have to be strong not feed into the negativity if people don't agree with you you know just count to 10, walk away, you know, you can't lead that horse to water, they have to find out themselves. But what I do know is, I see lots of roses, and I've got this vision, I've got this vision of the Statue of Liberty, and she's got a posy of beautiful red roses, and everyone's putting flowers and roses and around her, and it's like it's been shown after a disaster. Now, I'm not saying this is a literal disaster. It could just be metaphoric. But it's as if, like I said, the flag has fallen, the flag is rising. We will be okay. We are going to come through this. But there is a big twist coming in for the USA, and I'm going to leave that one with you. Wherever you all are, stay safe. Stay well. Stay happy and stay blessed. And I'll be back in a bit. May the force all be with you all. Goodbye now. Where am I? I think I'm stuck on end screen. Guys, I need to stop doing this asshole traveling. I keep getting stuck in the cloud. But anyway, I'm stuck on my end screen. So don't forget, subscribe to my channel and press the bell for new updates. Those fairies, you know, we're always getting up to mischief. See you all soon. Bye now.